Tops on Jefferson Avenue reopened to customers today, just a little over two months since the mass shooting there, which took 10 lives. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott Levin has the night off. Channel 2's Dave McKinley joins us live from right outside the store. Dave? You know, Mary Alice, there had been some discussion of whether this store should reopen or if it should be torn down and a new one built nearby. Of course, that's a process that would have taken two years instead of two months. But the question of whether people would return here to shop was answered rather quickly today. In fact, by noontime, the parking lot here was full and cars were crowding even parking spots on nearby streets. Some shoppers did tell us those who lost their lives here were on their minds. And we met someone with another way he says the tribute could be paid to them. Sir, what is your name? My name is Stephen Summers. Most people call me Tony S. And we met near the tops along Jefferson Avenue, a name for a street with which he's had issue. This street was named after a slave owner. And last year they were considering changing the name of it, but they decided not to. But now we have a reason to change the name. As a way to honor those who lost their lives. I knew a lot of these people and I sat down at home and I put this together and I wanted to have some kind of memorial. His idea is to rename this section of the street as Graphmark Memorial Parkway. Graphmark is the initial of each person that was murdered at top. The initial of each of their first names. And I put them together and I came up with Graf Mark. He plans to approach the Common Council with his idea, which he hopes it will adopt. Yeah, yes, I would love it. You know, I've, I've looked it up what the uh, process is of getting signatures and all of that kind of stuff. And I determined that I would come down here and try to get in contact with maybe mingle or the mayor and see what can be done about this. And tonight at six, you'll hear from some of the shoppers we talked to and their thoughts as they ventured back into this store. Reporting live from Jefferson Avenue tops, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.